Hi guys, Adrian here from Luxury Time Watches. Today I have a very interesting and I think probably a very informative video for you guys. Um, a couple of weeks ago we got sent a replica Rolex Starbucks and I didn't have an authentic one to compare it to. Immediately when I picked the watch up, after a while um, I felt that there was something wrong with it and eventually uh, discovered that it is a replica watch. And then yesterday we actually got in an authentic one and now I can do a video for you guys to compare a real one versus a fake one. Just from comparing the two watches, I've actually asked some guys at my office um, to hold the watches side by side and it's about a 50-50 of guys who's getting it right and who's getting it wrong. So the level that the replicas have come compared to five years ago, six years, ten years ago, it's absolutely mind-blowing it still it still fascinates me that they can make a watch that is the replicas are around about these kind of high-end replicas I probably think is probably 10 to 15 thousand rand probably even higher with the amount of details that goes into it but compare it to a authentic one um, it is so close that you really can't actually justify the price difference you think authentic one is like 320,000 the replica is around about 20,000 uh, just by looking at the watches I mean I've um, I've been dealing in watches for over 18 years now I've probably handled thousands or hundreds of thousands of Rolex watches during my my time and the level that it's gone to if this watch is purely on someone's wrist and I had to look at it from a distance there's no way to tell whether it's a fake or an authentic watch. That is how good these are at the moment. So I'll go into depth. We're going to put a side by side um, throughout the video. I'm not going to reveal which one is the fake one. Then you can um, look at the video. At the end of the video, we'll show you which one is fake. And you can actually see if you did spot it right. We're going to put these watches under a microscope. I'm going to open them and look at the movements. We're going to look at the printing on the dial, the color of the bezel, the pull, the clasp, the printing, the stamping. I'm going to go through everything to show you guys because this is something if you do not have an authentic watch to compare it with, 99% of you guys would be fooled. I mean, if, I, if this watch was offered to me five years ago, it would have probably fooled me because it is so good. That just shows you you really have to know what you're selling and be really careful where you're buying your watches from if you're not buying them from someone that is trusted or has a very vast knowledge of rolex watches or any brand um, in that fact you can really get burnt and i've actually seen this is the first time i've seen a starbucks uh, this good there is some rolex submariners doing the rounds that i've seen in south africa a lot of panerais which is also high-end replicas um, but those ones I would I can normally spot quickly even the fake hulks that were going around I can spot them but these ones it is a totally new level that they've gone to and that's actually scary if you think I wonder where we're going to be in five years time if they can do it at this level already and we in 2023 now how far they've come from 2020 to 2023 it's just leaps and bounds and I'm not praising the replica watchmakers it's just insane what I'm actually what I actually saw and I'll go into a bit more depth and I'll show you guys what's wrong and what's right okay and as I said I'm not going to tell you guys which one is fake I'm just going to take out the two watches compare how they feel on my wrist and we'll take it from there I'm actually wearing a authentic Rolex Panda Dal Daytona you guys probably saw on our Instagram that I actually have quite a few of these in stock at the moment. So that's how it looks on the wrist. Beautiful. Bezel turns perfectly. Clasp is really smooth. 
the micro adjustment in the clasp is working it's got even a hidden link and another thing about these replicas that I saw when this one came in it even has the Rolex stickers on and barcoded stickers so even a complete box it's got the replica card with the serial number on everything it is just insane this was actually the replica one now that I put on and it, it feels pretty solid now he has the authentic one probably can't even tell the difference like that hidden clasp same as the replica on the authentic one I must say it's a it's much smoother than the replica the replica feels like if it is um, grinding a bit the bezels he has the authentic one it's clicking quite tightly the replica one different sound to it but if you don't have something to compare it with you'll definitely not know it's also clicking 60 clicks easily the movement this this was the first giveaway for me is when the watch arrived is every time when a new watch comes into our office I immediately remove the crown or I, I set the time on the watch so I pop the crown out and I wind the watch so on the replica I could immediately recognize or I've wound thousands of rolex watches before so i just know how it should feel when you wind the watch if you haven't done it before you're not going to know so that's just some bit of advice that i have when immediately i can spot something is off is by winding it you can feel it's not as smooth as the authentic one but we'll go into depth under a microscope and i'll show you guys all the differences that i've picked up by looking at un under a microscope but these are not differences that you will be able to see just from glancing the at the watch from a distance okay so now we're going to go into an in-depth look um, at the movement of the watches we've opened them up compared them and as you can see from the outside um, of the watch or the exterior parts of the watch there's uh, they've put a much more effort into replicating that because those are obviously the parts that you see of the watch um, when you first uh, get it so when you look at the dial the hands the finishing of the bezel everything is pretty much spot on um, I'll show you some differences now that I can see but just off the bat it is really difficult to just spot that it's a fake from the exterior so now opening up and going into the movement this is like where you can really start to see where the whole puzzle it's not adding up so looking at the movement you can really see that the finishing of the Rolex movement is much better than the replica movement although from a distance if you look at it and you do not have experience with Rolex movements and you haven't seen hundreds of these movements you'll still not be able to tell the difference so opening opening it up looking at the movement the finishes you can clearly see that the finishing on the replica is it's not as polished it's not as clean it's not as sharp so there's the first tells i mean if you are a beginner watch dealer and you open it up and you look through it through a loop and and it is not everything is not perfect that's already a red sign and you should stay away from it okay guys as you can see the one on the left is the authentic one the one on the right is the fake one I mean there's not really much difference you can see there it is such slight differences I mean if you look at the lettering you can see really slight differences but this it is not something that you can just point out and say yes the R looks different or the L or the O's look different I mean these all these photos are taken under a microscope with very high magnifications so, so just by looking at with your naked eyes you're not going to be able to see the differences just to show you the the Rolex crown, the writing, authentic one on the left, fake one on the right. Let's move on to the next photo. This is the Submariner writing. I mean, if I don't tell you beforehand which one is fake and which one is authentic, I doubt that you'll even be able to know. But again, authentic one on the left, fake one on the right. As you can see, there's a slight difference in the way 
that um, feet is, if you can see the F on the left is a bit more crisp than the F on the right hand side. Uh, other than that, uh, the font on the replica looks slightly thicker than the authentic one, but it's, it's still, again, this is high magnification. Let's move on to the next one. Looking at the pull, I mean, this looks pretty much identical to me. You know, on some of these photos, the, the fake watch actually looks better than the authentic watch. But yeah, um, the first tell that I can see here is when you look at the bezel, if you go up a little bit, you'll see the machining on the f authentic one is much more crispy and more, the edges are way sharper than on the replica on the right, but it's again, high magnification and to the naked eye, it pr looks pretty much the same. Let's look at the 50 on the bezel. The one on the left is the authentic, the one on the right is the fake. Uh, I just think I didn't zoom in properly on the right, that's why that 50 looks a bit faded, but as you can see, it's pretty much identical. Again, yeah, you can see the bezel, how it's been machined at the top. Yeah, it's looking at the Swiss made that is at the six o'clock of the watch. Yeah, it's not so crisp. You can see the one on the right, um, the Rolex logo looks a bit squashed. It's not as sharp as the one on the left, which is the authentic one. But I mean, even the small markers, the seconds markers, just look how they line up with the A on the replica and the A on the authentic and the S and so forth. Very accurate. And you can also see on the replica, on the um, loom dot insert, you'll see there's slight marks on um, on the marker and whereas on the authentic one on on the left it's really clean okay next up I I shined a UV light on the dial this was pretty interesting so you'll see on the left hand the the dial is pretty smooth there's still a little little bit of blemishes on the dial we will see um, small little purple spots that the UV brings out um, whereas on the right you'll see much more of those small little purple spots and it, the dial also looks like if someone actually wiped it with something but I mean this you can only see under a UV light uh, when you buy a watch you're not going to walk around with a UV light to shine on the dial and even if you don't have an authentic one to compare it with it will just look normal to you then we had a look at the case back we removed the case back and looked at the engraving on the inside of the case back. So you'll see the authentic one on the left, fake on the right. You will, you can see, look at Rolex SA, how it's stamped on, onto the one at the left and compare it to the one onto the right, where the one on the right, it looks more engraved, I'd say, compared to all of the writing on the left, where it, it looks stamped on and not engraved very small differences but um, you can clearly see the differences under a microscope like this just a recap on this guys be really careful of what you buy um, as i always say buy the dealer first i mean trust in this business is really a big thing um, and if a deal is too good to be true it normally is too good to be true 90 percent of the time so do your homework don't get burned um, I mean, this is this is pretty scary, and I know a lot of you guys will probably think, um, why don't I just buy a replica if if it is so close? And don't even come and ask me where do I get these watches from. We do not deal in replicas. We don't do not buy them, or definitely not sell them. Um, if you want an authentic watch, you can come to us. If you even want your watch authenticated, you're welcome to bring it to us. We will more than happy authenticate it for you, free of charge, no cost. So just be careful of what you buy. I hope this video helped you guys and educate you a little bit more onto how to tell if a watch is fake. But I mean, whenever in doubt, have the watch opened, inspect the movement. That will be the easiest way to tell whether it is a fake or not. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this took quite a while to make. So if we get another one in, um, and we also have authentic one in because I mean I've actually seen quite a few of these watches floating around currently. We'll compare it. I would actually like to see a 
Daytona. I've heard that the new ceramic Daytonas are also being cloned. I've actually seen one before, which wasn't very good. But um, if the Starbucks is already out and it's this good, I don't even know what the Daytona is going to look like. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Please share this video with you, uh, the watch community or your friends so we can educate the watch lovers out there and safe shopping. Cheers.